time to do some blueprints, uh, scripting, programming inside Unreal Engine. And let me show you what I've done to this uh, light here. We have a spotlight on top. And every time I'm stepping in to this area, the light's been turned on. Okay, so let's do the same thing for that light. You can uh, put buttons and activate them. But here I just did this uh, collision box. Every time I'm stepping in, this light's been turned on. Okay, so in Unreal Engine, we have two types of blueprints. One that's been programmed on the open level on the, when the game been launched. And every time this script will run and activate different uh, objects to do stuff. And we have also a regional script for the blueprint for the light that we can also create if we don't have it. But for this one I already created and you can see that uh, on the event the spotlight target visibility off. If this will be on the light will be turned on and here new visibility off. That's how we turn on this light. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how we can create a area that every time we're going to step into this area it's going to turn off and on our light. Now main thing to remember, all the lights and everything needs to be movable, otherwise you won't be able to script uh, your objects. Okay, so you can see here this one, this one is stational, so I have to if I want to program this light, I have to move it to movable. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to drag and drop my light. came out a little too big because I think the model was made in inches. So I'm going to make it 0.24 smaller and I'll... I'll rotate this light and here we can rotate it towards the wall all right perfect now let's now we can delete this light right here and I'm gonna go to this blueprint and create blueprint lamp spot blueprint let's call it 2 alright so we have here our model which by the way can be switched you can put any other model instead of that kitchen door you see I'm actually replacing anything that's been imported in your scene will be right here okay now I also can add a light to this so click add component spotlight right here now we need to place it properly so I'm gonna go to left view actually front view and rotate this like that top view make sure it's in the center and this light is a little bit too strong so let's reduce the intensity open up the cone maybe give a little bit warmer color something like that okay now we can go and program 
this. So at the beginning, the first one that we want to do is we want to turn this light off. So while we're standing, this light being selected, let's do right click and event begin play from here from here we need to do this uh, set visibility spotlight and off let's click compile close this run voila the light is being turned off now when we're stepping in we need to make it turn on okay so first let's add collision box that we can program I'm gonna put it here as you can see I already have one for the first light so let's put another one it's called trigger box box trigger right here I'm gonna move it up scale it a little bit Right now, while this trigger box box been selected, I have to go to our blueprints, and here we need to add on collision, add on actor begin overlap, and you can see it already has this trigger box name too inside. So from here we need to add visibility and we don't have it here because we got, need to go and select our light here so let's go ahead and select it go back to blueprint right click create a reference to lamp spot blueprint 2 so let's create a reference from that now from here we can do set visibility we have the static mesh component and the spotlight so let's do the spotlight and we can see it brought us target already with that spotlight selected inside so on the overlap let's do this on and turn the light on when the actor begin overlap click compile play now let's see if this worked voila the light turned on okay so now let's add a script that turns that light off open blueprint to go and select our box of overlap this one now right click on actor and overlap and we got the trigger box 2 here so when it ends now from here we don't actually need to because we can use the same target to set the visibility to off and let's connect that to here so we're using the same object right here with the target which is the spotlight and we're using two overlaps one at the beginning one at the end and both of them use visibility one turns on one turns off click compile 
let's close this click play let's test our script so turns on turns off all right so you can add buttons instead of this collision box same thing if you have gorgles and your uh, virtual reality set headset you can use your hands in order to communicate with your interior space and turn and turn off those lights okay i'm gonna add more uh, stuff here i'm gonna add opening and closing doors and i'm gonna add some of the curtains fill it up a little bit more so i hope you like this tutorial make sure to follow stay tuned for the next ones